Hello and welcome to this uh, small tutorial on Construct3 where I will clearly explain what the lerp function does. Um, it's actually very easy. Let me uh, tell you how it works. Hello and welcome to this small tutorial on um, the lerp function in Construct3. Um, there are a lot of questions around the lerp functions because it's something that, uh, with a difficult name, linear extrapolate. Um, uh, and actually, it's pretty simple if you look at it. So let me uh, explain to you what it does. So the lerp function actually, uh, let's we will implement it. Excuse my writing here. Uh, um, the lerp function, as we'll implement in a few minutes. Uh, has three variables a b and c which means that uh, what this function will return is a value somewhere between a and b and where that value is is determined by t and t is a factor and this factor returns a value of 1 to 0 so actually it's a percentage, meaning if it's 1, if it's 0, excuse me, it will return A. If it's 1, it will return B. And everything in between there, let's say 0.5, it will return the middle of the two. That's it. So let me just show you this with a very small example. Let's make a very small example and yet use the slider bar for that one. So in the slider bar, you can tell it uh, we're going from zero. In this uh, case, we will go, go to one and we will use steps of 0.1. So as we drag the slider bar around, we will go in steps of 0.1 from zero to one. And then let's do this. We add the text and we go to the event sheet and we tell on change of the slider bar, we're going to create, we're going to set the text, sorry, set text, here we are, uh, we're going to use the lerp function and we're going to say, for example, somewhere between 50 and 60, that's A and B, and then the X um, value uh, is somewhere between 50 and 60 and in this case we're just going to use the slider bar value let's see what that does and see so left is 50 right is 60 and halfway in between is 55 so that's what the lerp function does actually the lerp function is just uh, another way let me just copy that Another way of saying, actually, it's the base number plus the uh, maximum number minus the base number. So it's the range, actually. And let me just do the brackets right. Times the factor, which is a value between 0 and 1. So if we going to multiply it with that, we are going to have the same result so it's 50 plus maximum minus minimum times the x value and that should be exactly the same result there we go okay i hope you learned something as always please like and subscribe and see you next time